We're about a mile past Blairy here on the River Morriston. So what, what's this pool here called? This is called Linnefechet. Linnefechet, or the Pool of Twenty. What happened here then? There were twenty men drowned here at one time. They were pursuing uh, somebody, whether they were... They were redcoats, weren't they? Various stories, redcoats or gaugers or something like that. Uh, but uh, they were misdirected and heard across the river. Uh, they were told this was a safe place to cross it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's actually yeah. very deep. They were drowned there. Whether there was ice in the river or what, can't imagine why. Uh, they, they might have thought they were crossing a shallow part yeah. on the ice and they fell through. And uh, what else have we got in this area here? Oh, just along here by the big tree, there's a grave. That is sometimes known as a witch's grave. So what's that stone there? Well, that's uh, sometimes known as a witch's stone. A story goes that uh, the, the funeral cortege arrived from Glengarry and uh, at this point uh, the funeral was coming down the glen to Invermorrison and it was met by the people of Glenmorrison here and they had an argument about whether where she was to be buried, was she be to be buried in Morrison or Glen Morrison. And uh, they were going to have a fight over the problem. And the laird who was there said, let's not fight over it, we'll bury her right here. So that's what happened and that's the stone. Why is she called uh, a witch? Well, some say that, one story says that she was a a bad witch and, and they didn't want her in either cemetery. Another story says she was a, go a good woman and she was uh, wanted in both cemeteries. But... Uh, when would this have all happened? Any idea? Hmm. No, I don't know when. At least 200 years ago, I would imagine. We're back near the Pool of Twenty here. What, what are these posts? both sides of the river here. There was a footbridge across there, a suspension type of bridge. It was a forestry bridge. Uh, the, forest, the forestry men used that, this bridge here, to cross over to the planting on the other side, which is now known as the Coilac. They, there was no road on the other side there at that time. And... Uh, Who's that? Old McHugh and the forester used to send them, to, told them to huddle up the Coilac. And they would cycle up to here and leave their bikes here and cross the river, the bridge, and look after the forest across the river there. And uh, what happened to the bridge? The bridge was washed away in the big flood of 1950.